Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got OPI's Oh My Majesty with some reverse stamping. I've started off with Neltix Formula 2 and Pro FX Sticky Base Base Coat. I've also got on Sally Hansen's White and OPI's Oh My Majesty two coats. I'll be using BMS 326 and these Sunflowers. I'll be using a couple of different stampers and Braves Diva on the black. I'll be using these color paints by OPI. This is Magenta Muse and then the orange is Chromatic Orange and then the beautiful yellow is primarily yellow. <laughs> I'll also be using the color paints Silver Canvas. You could use any silver polish though or any jellies for that matter. So I'm just going to do some stamping on the stampers to get me some images to fill in. And I'm going to do two. One of them I'm going to use as a full design on one accent nail. And then the other one I'm going to cut into four pieces and create ac little, you know, accent pieces to go on the other nails. You know, because this girl's just a little touched in the head. So we're going to do things a little different today. So I've got my images and I'm dropping out droplets of those color paints on my little, you know, spark mat, my little silicone mat, and I'm just going to use the dotting tool to fill these in with the different colors. You know, and one of the things I love about doing it this way or doing, you know, these reverse stampings with these, you know, color tints or jelly polishes is that you know, you don't have to be so exact. I mean, if you go out of the line a little bit, it's okay. It's, you know, still going to turn out really pretty. And I just love playing with these. Uh, you know, I try to remember to play with them, you know, at least a couple of times a year. And it's time. So those are gorgeous. Love flipping it over and checking it out. Now we're going to go in with some of the orange. And originally I was going to do like orange around the pink circles. And then do yellow out on the tips. But, you know, I sat down and started playing. And as many of my manicures happen, they change mid-mani. So I decided I'm just going to do some of the flower petals orange and some of them yellow. I just changed it completely from what I saw in my head. I don't know why, but, you know, it's it's okay because it's just a mani. <laughs> so I'm just using the, the tiny end of a dotting tool because I am getting kind of close to the edge and I don't want to be spilling out past the image too much. I'm sure at some point it does happen because you know I am heavy handed so that's uh, why I like using these forgiving polishes and uh, doing these reversed you know the reverse stamping. But I really was looking forward to doing a fall manicure and I had remembered seeing this sunflower image and so when I looked through my plates I didn't go all the way through my plates but I ran across this one and just decided to go ahead and use it I don't know if I have other images similar or not and now we're going to go in with some of that yellow on those other petals and you guys know I get a little psychedelic sometimes so this uh this does not look like any sunflowers I've ever seen but that's okay in manicure world, you get to make your own rules and do your own thing. That's one of the things I love about it. So I am just filling this all in. I have sped a lot of this video up. When I sat down to edit it, it was like a 30 minute video and I chopped it in less than half. So I've sped things up. I've cut things out. I've um, tried to make it more watchable, I guess. Um, so we, we are going rather fast here on the screen, but trust me, this girl don't work that fast. This manicure took me quite a while to do, but in the end, I was so happy with it that I really didn't, didn't care. And, you know, I don't, I'm not one of those people that has trouble with a manicure taking a while. I, you know, I enjoy, this is my fun time. This is, this is my de-stress, relax activity, and so I don't, I don't mind a manicure being a little more involved. 
This was a weekend manicure, by the way. <laughs> Weeknight manicures are a little different. I'm in a little more of a hurry on those. I was going to do those in green, those little leaf looking things, but I said, nah, I'm just going to, I'm just going to rock with the, the yellow. Just, you know, keep it simple. Now I'm going to go in with that silver from the, it's silver canvas from that collection and just kind of back it so that when I do apply it to the nail, it's, you know, got something to sparkle off of. I was hoping the silver would make it kind of make the colors pop. You know, they might have been just fine just to do this right over that white. That would have probably worked out just fine, but I'm so used to when I play with these polishes always using, you know, silver or a silver hollow or, you know, something like that to make make the colors, excuse me, the colors really pop. But, um, you know, just habits, I guess. You get into habits. And I decided to change over to the dotting tool so I could get a little closer to the edges with the silver without getting too crazy because I'm not really good with that big brush. Not with this detailed work, I'm not. <laughs> <clears throat> Got a frog in my throat. <clears> throat> Excuse me. It's that time of year they're spraying the cotton fields and uh, it always jacks my sinuses up. Worse than normal. <laughs> Like I said, if you wanted to skip this part, if you decide to, you know, do a manicure like this, similar, just, you could totally skip that silver. I do believe that it was an unnecessary step, you know, in hindsight, looking back on it. And it was actually quite time consuming to do this. And then I had to wait for them to dry too. <laughs> Live and learn. So there we go, very pretty. I am going to top it all with some super dry. I just think that this helps make the decal kind of hold together and especially if you got any like thinner lines or thinner areas of the decal, it um, helps hold it together better, especially since I'm going to be cutting one of these decals up into four pieces. I wanted to be able to make, I wanted to make sure it would hold together for me to be able to do that. And I am quite generous with the super dry. I get it at the Dollar Tree, it's a buck. And I love it. I love how flexible it is for making decals. And this is the one I'm chopping to pieces. I'm not gonna show you me chopping all of it, but it's, all of them are pretty much done the same way. I just cut them out. And then I'm gonna lay them on a stamper so they've got a safe place to sit till I'm ready for them. Well, I guess I am going to show you a little bit more of the chopping. I didn't think I showed you all all that. Sorry. I could have made the video even shorter. <laughs> you got it. That one's kind of stuck. It's kind of stuck. But you know, sometimes when I'm editing these videos, it just gets a little crazy. Because I don't want to cut out too much, but I don't want to make my videos stupid long. Because I know... If y'all are like me, you've only got so much time in a day to watch so many videos, and I'm trying to watch a lot of people's channels, so I do normally try to keep my videos, you know, a normal length, especially since I post every day. I'm going to use the Pro FX Sticky Base Base Coat, and there's my Poly Gel Nail, looking pretty good still, and I'm just going to put the Sticky Base down where I know I'm going to put that little decal. So I'm going to pull it off of the sitting stamper where it's been sitting in time out. I'm going to flatten it out on this other stamper so that I can position it on the nail and kind of mush it down on there. So I'm kind of going to be catty corner in these on the four nails on the thumb and the pointer middle and pinky. Just kind of put them catty corners. I had it right the first time. So this one's going to go up in the top corner. I really enjoyed this manicure. This was one of those that I had pictured in my head. You guys know how it is with that. You get one pictured in your head. And this one turned out pretty close to what I was imagining. So I wasn't too, I wasn't too disappointed. I actually really enjoyed wearing this one. And now for the full nail. 
the ring finger. Lots of extra decal here. I could have trimmed this down some, I suppose, but you know, sometimes we gotta suffer through pain therapy to, to learn a lesson. And here we go with the struggles of the scissors and the decal. But I've told y'all before, I'm always scared I'm going to cut too much of it off if I trim it down. And um, sometimes I just do better if I just get part of it on my nail. Or get it partially onto my nail, not really all the way stuck down before I do some trimming. Because I am really, really bad about that cutting them too little. And then you've got like this gap. And I didn't want no gaps. And now I'm going to try to mush it down really, really well before doing some, you know, cleanup and stuff here in just a second. Got to get that pinky nail on there. The decal on the pinky. And I'm going to go in with my pure acetone with the acetone additive and do a little bit of cleanup. Actually, quite a bit of cleanup because, you know, these, when I do decals, I really do make a mess. But I've told you guys before that you know this is all therapeutic for me the cleanup as long as it's not like like if I did had to do all 10 nails like clean up on this one nail that would have been a little much but when I'm only having to do that much cleanup on one I can handle that the cleanup on the other ones wasn't that bad it was just like up around the cuticle or on the tip so you know I know splitting hairs that's okay but I do a lot of tapping on the edge with the side of that brush. And that gives me a more smooth surface on that end. So that, you know, once I top coat it and everything, everything's smooth. I do keep dipping back into my acetone. And I tap it on my paper towel so that it's not just floating in acetone. Got my little messy towel going on there. And I do a lot of flip-flopping that finger around. That's a busy digit right there. I'm just flipping it and flipping it. But you've got to look at it from, you know, all the different angles to make sure you're getting all of it. And to me, cleanup's, you know, a high priority. I don't want to put all this time into a manicure and then, you know, rush through my cleanup. And then later while I'm trying to admire my manicure, I'm like, oh, I didn't get that. Oh, I didn't clean that up. So... I do get a little meticulous with it. There we go on the end again. Of course, I'm kind of out of frame. <laughs> but look at that thumbnail. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> but I really, really enjoyed this one. It, I guess it's really officially my first for real fall manicure. I don't know. I might have done one already that was similar. Um, or fall-ish. Not similar to this. But, you know maybe could fall into that fall category I don't know <clears throat> I'm gonna top this with the smudge free top coat from bundle monster um, because that what's sticking up on the top was on the stamper so it is not you know it still could smear and now I'm gonna put that posh top coat on it and seal everything all in Ugh, look how pretty I love a glossy top coat. Of course, I think these probably would have looked pretty cool, you know, matte too, but I'm a glossy girl. Look at that. I would love to hear what you think about this one. Please leave me a comment down below. And that is it for today. Thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself.